don't see that often anymore, but that's really easy to create is a plinth block. A plinth block is really just a piece of wood that your casing trim sits down on top of. Now, there's a couple things you need to know about the proportions of this piece of wood. The first one is it always needs to be at least a little bit taller than your baseboard trim. And the second thing is, traditionally, it needs to be a little bit wider and a little bit thicker than the casing itself. I usually make it between 3 8 and a, uh, half an inch wider than the casing trim. Now, if you're going to be using a plinth block, you always want to check and make sure that the thickness of the plinth block is not going to affect the swing of the door. It hardly ever is a problem, but sometimes if you've got a really thick piece of casing trim and an even thicker plinth block, it can get in the way of the, what, the door opening completely. Now, what I really like about this is a plinth block can be made out of almost any little scrap of wood that you've got left laying around on the job, so you're adding a level of detail without spending a lot of money. So what I'm going to do is just go around this and ease the edge, and then we're going to look at what it looks like if we add a carving to it. Now one thing that I forgot to mention, I always want this to be at least an inch, hopefully an inch and a half taller than it is wide. Okay, let's start out by putting just a little bit of a rounded over edge around this piece. You can see just rounding over that edge makes a huge difference in how it looks. The next thing that I want to do is use either this real hand carving or else this compressed wood piece to add even more detail to it. As you can see, it's going to take something that's just a simple block of wood and really make it into something special. I'm going to go ahead and use this hand carved piece. Now, this is literally just a piece of solid wood. So if I tried to nail through there with some large fastener, I could end up with just a really expensive piece of scrap. I don't want to do that. What I'm trying to do is turn a piece of scrap into something that looks really expensive, not turn something that's expensive into a piece of scrap. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue behind it and then shoot just enough headless pins into it. Now it is important if you've got a detail that's very directional like this, to make sure that you know the way you attach it makes some sense. There's the finished look, and you could even use this for pilasters on cabinetry too. And you don't have to have a reeded piece of casing trim to do this. There's been times when I've just used a standard casing trim, and it still looks good with plinth blocks. A great place to do this, even if you don't do it anywhere else in the house, would be like at the front door where you want to just step the trim up a little bit at a really visible part of the house.